Chris Kuzman with your weekly Thursday night injection of boxing talk. Updates and all out arguments. This is your Bolo Punch Boxing Hour brought to you by George Rogie Insurance. It is Thursday night, August the 20th, 2009. We are live from Leg Up Production Studios in Hobart, Indiana, about 30 minutes outside of Chicago, Illinois. Amos Soto Pavinsky Kagabin on my right. Mo, what is going on with you? Not much. Uh, just working and uh, watched some fights last weekend. All right. Well, Nestor, what's going on with you then? <laughs> Mo, what did you watch? Uh, I watched Lacey and uh, and um, Roy Jones. Roy Jones looked pretty good. He looked like his younger self against uh, uh, he made a Lacey's very slow, muscle bound guy. He didn't even look all that muscle bound. Yeah, he, well, he looked muscle bound. He just looked like he didn't have. Obviously, he didn't have any defense when he fought Calzaghe, and uh, Jones kind of showboated a little bit in that fight. No, Jones was Not able Jones. to, because yeah. while uh, left hook Lacey has a really strong, good, solid left hook, he not that fast anymore. Yeah. Thanks to Calzaghe. I don't know if he ever was super fast. Anyways, he always had a powerful punch, and by the third round. All his power was taken away from him by Jones hitting well, no one thousand. Look, no one looks fast next to Roy. I mean, you'd have to get Floyd Mayweather or Shane in there well, to look fast with Roy. Jones there. looked like he was slowing down there for a little while when he fought Tarver and when he fought... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, you mean the last four years of yeah. the fighting? Yeah. And all of a sudden now he's, he's starting to... Well, in his last fight, he looked really good. I don't know. Yeah. He's, he's getting up there in age still, but... Well, hey, see. I'm all for it. I'm all for him still fighting. He's talking about stepping up to uh, Cruiser to fight, uh, I believe it was Danny Green. I'm not sure exactly. Could be interesting. I know he's talking a lot of garbage about uh, Anderson Silva in the world of mixed martial arts, who is the greatest mixed martial artist in the world right now, Anderson the Spider Silva, uh, on contract with the uh, UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Um, he was actually sitting ringside for Anderson Silva's last defense. Uh, against uh, Forrest Griffin, if I'm not mistaken, and um, sat there and said, "I'm impressed for a mixed martial artist, but a boxer." He said he'd get he'd get stretched. <laughs> he said he'd get stretched. On the other side of your screen, Nestor Garza Romero. Nestor, how the hell are you? You're doing great. Had a nice relaxing day today. Uh, found out that the cash for Clunkers program will be ending soon. <laughs> So there is kind of a kind of a mixed mixed bag there. Uh, I've got to ask, how has this affected you personally? Cash I've, for I've, I've worked a hell of a lot of hours. <laughs> um, so far, so for those that don't know what the concept is, I have an '86 Cutlass Supreme in my driveway. I come on in and yeah, what? We would have to look because the government's it's got certain restrictions as to what the mileage was. It has to be less, has to make get less than 18 miles to the gallon, and you have to buy a car that's I believe six or seven miles to the gallon better to get 3,500. If it's more than that, you get 4,500 for it. So you know if you're. I guarantee my '86 Cutlass got about. 12 miles to well, the gallon. Well, that's not what you're, that's yours, not according to whatever, it's got to be according to whatever the, the book says, whatever the, the government says it got. Oh, that's how they get around What the sticker <laughs> was. <laughs> they just make up their own info. Well, no, because it's an average. You, if, if, if it went, if you got 22 miles in the city and 16 miles on the highway, or in, in, excuse me, 22 miles on a highway, 16 in the city, you would add the two, divided by two, and you would come up with an average. And apply the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> use an isosceles triangle and then, uh, read the Bible, and it'll come in Genesis. Well, even like the newer cars, if you look at them, a lot of them they'll say they get 35 miles of the gallon or whatever, and then it'll say in small print below it, it says with most normal driving you get 41. It's, yeah, it, it just it depends. Well, like I said, the, the big thing is is they they just average the two, and then you're either going to get 3,500 or 4,500. The car had to be titled to you. Uh, you had to have registered it in the last two years. You had to have insured it in the last two years. So if you had somebody that owned a car and said, well, I'm not driving this piece of crap. I'm just going <laughs> to go ahead and leave it in the garage. I'm not going to plate it. Well, they lost $4,500. So fortunately, fortunately and unfortunately, the program is over. But it also yeah. protects people from just going out and, and, uh, and going to a junkyard and buying, buying a, a clunker. Yeah. Well, it had to run, too. That was the other stipulation. It had to drive in. Oh, bullshit. you picky little bastards. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, the producer, Patterson, over there at the controls. Timmy, what's going on with you, man? Um, Not much, man. Really? Uh, I don't have no cash for clunkers. I got uh, 
Got no clunker, you got no cash. Are you? Uh, are you? We got a different model at our work. It's called Stupid Bosses in Charge. <laughs> are, are you the? Uh, are you? Are you still uh, the sh- warehouse or shop manager? Yes, or whatever? yes, yes. It's, and and, and it's, I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. It's it's great. <laughs> basically, Schwartz is basically great. we have a we have a program too. Uh, if you uh, if you rode the short bus to uh, to school, then you'll become a manager. <laughs> That's good. Let's offend everybody at work. <laughs> no stone unturned by Timmy the producer Patterson tonight. Timmy, how can our listeners get in touch tonight, man? Uh, you, you can call Chris's cell phone number. Um, no, just kidding. Yeah, uh, that's you, not a number I want put out there. Yeah. Uh, you can call the hotline. It's 219-743-9743. Yahoo Instant Messenger is up and running. Keyword, Bolo Punch, Box an Hour. But the best way to reach us is in the chat room via Ustream.tv. Yeah. What is that we're drinking over there, Chris? <clears throat> this is the same stuff we were drinking last night, man. The, the last week, rather. And last, and last night. night. <laughs> <laughs> This is Three Floyds out of Munster, Indiana. This is Moloko Milk Stout, and it is damn fine. Damn Mo- fine. Moloko Milk Stout? You need to try that. Give that a taste. Give that a gander. If you like Guinness, you'll like that. <laughs> if you don't, then you won't. Not bad. That's good times right there. Um, oh, what's up? Oh, okay, I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I dude. forgot to let you know. I thought, you just I thought he was flicking me off three times. And, 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 and all right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sing uh, happy birthday to uh, to Don King. All right, Nestor, you start. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking not. Yeah. I'm definitely thinking to say hold your breath there, blue boy. Yeah. Hey, uh, the former WBC lightweight champion of the world. David Diaz of Chicago is going to be having a, a, a press conference open to the public uh, tomorrow at UIC Pavilion in Chicago. Uh, he's going to be fighting uh, Jesus Chavez, uh, whose uh, nickname, I believe, is the Conquistador. Uh, <laughs> it might also be Matador. <laughs> he wrote it sort of scribbly. <laughs> he wrote it sort of scribbly, but I believe it's the Conquistador. But Jesus Chavez has had he's had uh, leg problems. Yeah, a couple yeah. knee problems. He came back. He had one knee went bad, and then he came back, and his other knee went bad. Yeah, he so. slipped on the on the mat or something, didn't he? On, yeah. on, in the ring on the the, the on lettering his, or something. On his first fight back. Yeah, yeah, and he blew out his other knee or something, didn't he? Why yep. did you hurt your knee? Advertising. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bastards. <laughs> but uh, that that public press conference will be tomorrow at UIC Pavilion. Uh, Emil and myself will be there covering that live. And uh, followed by the main event, uh, they're going to have a fight card right there at UIC. So if you go to the press That's the reason you can, we're going to be in town. Yeah. You, you actually get a two-for-one there. You get to see David Diaz and, uh, and Chavez there. And then afterwards they have the fights, and uh, Estrada is fighting. Does it say on there who he's fighting? David Estrada is not listed as to who he's going to be fighting. But you've also got Jaime Sandoval. You've got uh, Ivan Popoca and Jose Hernandez, who has a knockout win over a man who had a very exciting knockout victory this weekend um, in Jason the All-American Boy Litzow. Yeah, I forgot uh, I, I forgot that uh, Hernandez was on this card. Oh, Jose Hernandez is on this card. They announced that at the same time as uh, as posting all the rest. So that's UIC Pavilion, that's uh, University of Chicago. I'm it's sorry? actually almost just as big as Estrada being on this card. That's, uh, a, that's a big deal for uh, uh, for Jose Hernandez because he was able to weather the early Litzau storm and uh, and score a knockout of his own. I'm not real sure what that is, but that's scaring me. But uh, in, the Chicago, a area, of some in the Chicago area as well, in, in Hammond, there's going to be uh, fights in... For uh, Andy Lee's fighting in town as well. Yeah, yeah Andy Lee and uh, and his uh, trainer Emmanuel Stewart of the Croc and of HBO Sports will be on hand in Hammond, Indiana. Very strange that we're, I mean, not strange that we're gonna you know pledge allegiance to Dominic Pasoli's eight count promotions. They've been really good to us, but to drive past Chicago. Or past Hammond to get to. To Chicago. drive past Hammond to, to get to Chicago when there's just as good stuff going on right closer to home is rather interesting. So let's go ahead and take a break, and we'll be right back at you. This is your Bolo Punch. Generation Insurance Family, serving Indiana families for over 80 80-